Hi there, I'm Matt Corker, and I'm here to lead you through 30 minutes of a good morning flow. The intention here is to wake up your spine, wake up your mind, and get you ready for the day. You don't need any props, just your mat and your breath. We're gonna start in Balasana today. So come onto your mat, come down to all fours with your head pointing towards the top of your mat. Widen your knees out as wide as your mat, maybe even a little wider. Point your toes back and bring your big toes together to touch. Slowly begin to shift your hips back towards your heels. So maybe your seat begins to touch your heels or hover slightly above. In the extended variation today, you may have your hands on the mat palms face down fully with your elbows lifted. Or you may choose to drop your elbows down, stack the palms one on top of the other, and bring the palms right underneath your forehead so that your forehead has something to rest down onto, like a little pillow. Right away, connect in with your breath, noticing what it feels like to inhale and fill up your entire belly all the way so that you can even feel a slight lift through the low back. And what does it feel like to exhale and release tension that you may have been holding. Take a few more breaths here, enjoying what the sensation of the breath moving in the body feels like today. Without judgment, without trying to analyze or fix, Simply noticing how the breath feels. Remove the stack of your hands, but keep your right palm down and your forehead on the back of the right hand. Look to your left so that your right temple rests on the wrist or the forearm of your right hand. Kind of like a little pillow looking towards your left. Extend your left arm forward towards the top of your mat and come onto fingertips so you can see underneath the arm. Then begin to tiptoe your fingertips forward and slightly over to the right. So it's like you are doing a big banana shape, just allowing yourself to elongate that left side of the body. Imagine what it would feel like to drop your left hip down a little bit more and lengthen the entire left side, breathing a little deeper in through the left lung. Beautiful. Walk your left fingertips parallel with the long edge of your mat, bend your elbows, stack both hands again, reset through center. We'll do the same thing the other side. So place the left palm down, look to your right, let your left temple relax down on the wrist or the forearm of the left hand, extend your right arm forward, maybe coming onto fingertips, and then tiptoe your fingertips over to the left until you find the stretch that allows you to really wake up. So let the rib basket lift up slightly, let the shoulder lift up, and then glue your right sit bone, your right outer hip down and back. A little easy twist in the upper back here while staying grounded in your low back. Take two more really slow, really intentional breaths here, especially into the right lung.
walk your fingertips forward so your arm is parallel with the long edge of the mat. Reset through center, stacking both hands, forehead down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders to slowly lift up into a seated position. You can sit on your shins or sit cross-legged, whichever is more comfortable for you. I like to sit on my shins with, for this. Find a grip with your palms on your knees so that the ball of the knees goes into the mitt of the hands. We'll call this the baseball grip for today. As you find this, begin to round the chin down and curl everything back so your arms are straight and you wanna think like a cat pose here. So like you are holding on, you are pulling back so much with your back body that you need your baseball grip on your knees to hold on to. Then release the hands, slide them up the thighs as you begin to sit taller, lift your arms wide and up and back bend. Bring your elbows in line with the shoulders and have them bent, so cactus the arms. Lift the chest up and turn this into a big back bend as you bring the elbows slightly forward, the palms face upward, and then they straighten as you sit tall. Find baseball grip on your knees and curl and round the spine. Inhale to slide the, arm, the hands up, arms nice and wide, find cactus and back bend at the peak of the inhale. Straighten the arms, tuck the chin into the chest, curl in and round, hang on to your knees, baseball grip. One more like that. Slide the hands up, open the arms wide, cactus as you back bend. Exhale, straighten the arms, sit tall, then round the spine, coming into your seated cat. Inhale to lift up, sit nice and tall. Find all fours, your hands and your knees as you exhale. Step your left foot forward in between your hands and come to fingertips, please. Begin to shift the hips forward and back here, exploring with what it feels like to go into a lunge and a half split using your breath. As you exhale, you'll shift the hips back, and as you inhale, you shift the hips forward. Know that you can go at the own pace, so if this morning or today you feel like going really slow, go fast, go slow. <laughs> if you feel like going slow, go slow. If you feel like speeding it up a little bit to add a little bit of heat to the body, you do you. But we'll stay with the left leg extended, the left toes lifting up, left hip tacking back in this half split. Take a big breath in to find the hint of a back bend, and as you exhale, re-bend the front knee. Point your back toes back, so your right toes point back. Right hand comes firmly to the earth. Lift the left arm to the sky. Bring the left hand behind your head, bending the left elbow, and lean back into it. Imagine there's a wall behind you, so we're not taking a huge back bend here, but it's more like you're lengthening against a flat wall behind you here. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, bring your left elbow inside to your left ankle. Twist down. Inhale to unfurl up, keeping the left hand where it is, look up. Exhale, curl in and round down. One more just like that. Inhale to lift and open up. Exhale to curl in and go down. This time, inhale, unfurl the arm, straighten the left elbow, 
lift the back knee up with pointed toes back. So a variation of an easy twist here. Take a big breath in and then lower the back knee down, lower your left hand down. Find both knees together. Inhale to cow pose, lift the chest forward and up. Exhale to cat, rounding the spine. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Explore going forward and back. Using the hips as the driver of the movement. So rather than just straightening and bending your legs, think of hips going forward. Your front knee will likely go past your front ankle and that's okay in this really stable position here today. Again, if you'd like to go slow, go slow. If you'd like to add a little bit more fire, move intentionally with the breath. And then we'll stay in the straight leg variation of a half split. Think right hip tapping back. Lift your right toes up to the sky. Straighten your right leg as much as you can. Stay here for two full breaths in and out. Exhaling together, re-bend the front knee. Point your left toes back. Give your left hand more responsibility on the ground and twist your right arm up to the sky. Bend your right elbow, cuff the back of your head with your right hand and take a big breath in. Exhale, right elbow to right ankle, curl in and go down. Inhale to unfurl up, breathe in. Exhale, curl in and find a new depth. Inhale to unfurl up, breathe in. Exhale to curl in and go down. This time different. Inhale, unfurl up, straighten the right arm, look up, lift the back knee up off of the ground with pointed toes back, and then exhale, both hands come down, find a downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, left and right, left and right. And today, instead of having your elbows out wide and your armpits out to the side, can you push into the hands in a way that allows the shoulders to go onto the back and the armpits to spin towards your heart. So the armpits point slightly toward each other rather than pointing out to the sides. Come forward into a high plank, please breathe in. Shift all the responsibility into your right hand. Find a side plank as you drop your heels over to the right and lift your left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand down, high plank. Shift the heels to the left, reach your right arm to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, right hand down, find a high plank. Heels drop right, lift up left, side plank. High plank, left hand comes down, heels lift. Heels to the left, one more time, inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand down, high plank. Breathe in here, stay. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat so you find a forward fold at the back of your mat. And really let it go. So feel free to bend your knees extra today. Allow the upper body to just drape over yourself. Your feet can be hip distance or slightly wider here for today's variation. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Slowly, bone by bone, you're gonna roll up to stand for a count of four. So starting with the knees, roll up through the lumbar spine for four. The mid spine for three. Keep your arms heavy, your chin tucked. Working up for two. Standing nice and tall, lifting the head, rolling the shoulder back for one. Lift your arms to the sky, breathe in. Bend your knees a lot. Chair pose, breathe out. Bend your elbows to find cactus and add a back bend, breathe in. 
Swim your arms forward, find baseball grip on your knees and round the spine. Slide the hands down to your shins, come into a halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale to fold all the way down. Walk your hands forward to a high plank, please. Breathe in. Micro bend your elbows just a little bit, like a mini chaturanga. Inhale to a high plank. Walk your feet towards your hands to the top of your mat this time and breathe out. Roll to stand for four, three, two, one. Lift your arms up as you finish the inhale. Side bend to your right, grabbing your left wrist. Inhale through center. Switch the grip. Exhale, bend to the left. Come back through center, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step back to a plank as you breathe out. Drop the hips slightly and lift the chest forward for a tucked toe, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward dog, and walk the hands all the way back to the back of the mat. Again, roll up for one breath, breathe in. Arms lift up tall. Sit into your chair as you breathe out. Bend the elbows into cactus, lift the chest forward and up, inhale. Swim the arms forward, find baseball grip as you round the spine. Slide the hands down to your shins, find a halfway lift as you lengthen the spine forward. Forward fold, breathe out. Walk the hands forward into a high plank, breathe in. Mini chaturanga, just really small bend in the elbows. Breathe out. Inhale to find high plank. Walk your feet towards your hands as you breathe out. Roll up for one breath, arms reach to the sky, breathe in. Right hand grabs left wrist, arc to the right, breathe out. Through center, inhale, switch the grip, arc up over to the left as you breathe out. Come back through center, breathe in. Traditional sun A, forward fold as you breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen the spine, hands can come to shins. Exhale, step back through high plank, lower halfway or all the way to the earth. Back bend of choice, cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, lift the hips high, breathe out. Stay for three breaths here. Again, spin the armpits towards your heart, have a soft bend in your knees, and lift your tailbones to the sky. Inhaling together. Exhaling together. Inhale, lift high onto the toes, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step, step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, hands to shins to lengthen the spine forward. Fold forward as you breathe out. Rise to stand, reach your arms all the way to the sky, look up, palms touch. Exhale, bring the palms down through center in front of your heart and down by your side. One more just like that. Inhale, lift the arms up, breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Halfway lift, hands to shins, lengthen the spine, look down. Step, step, or float back to chaturanga, low push-up, or all the way down. Back bend of choice, takes your chest forward and up, shoulders come back, downward facing dog, hips up, and breathe. Take a big breath in together, and a big breath out. Think about yawning the backs of your legs open as you release tension in your head. Shaking it left, shaking it right, so nice. Big breath in here, big breath out. Come onto the toes, inhale. Bend your knees, look forward, step, step, or maybe float to the top of your mat, halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale and fold. Rise to stand, reach your arms to the sky, big breath in, 
palms touch, bring them down together as you breathe out. Moving on, arms lift up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Left foot steps back, breathe in. Exhale, the hands come to the thigh or onto the knee as you breathe out. Slide the hands up the thigh and turn it into that back bend with cactus arms into a high lunge back bend. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the front leg, hinge forward, have your hands frame the front foot. Spin the back heel down into so that the left toes point towards the long edge of your mat. Keep your right hand down and then unfurl your left arm to the sky, just like a twist, triangle pose. Take a big breath in here, big breath out. One more, just like that, inhale. Left hand comes down, find downward facing dog as you breathe out. Left leg to the sky, breathe in. Left knee to nose, curl in, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog one more time, breathe in. This time across the body, left knee comes to the right tricep. Extend the left leg off of the mat, spin the right heel down, breathe out. Inhale, right arm to the sky, fall in triangle. Exhale, right hand comes down. Mini chaturanga as you exhale. Spin the back, heel up. Inhale, the left knee to the nose. Exhale, the left foot down in between your hands. Lunge. Spin the back, heel down again. Reach your left arm forward. Find half moon here, please. Lifting the back leg high to the sky. Stand firmly down on the tripod of the front foot. So that's the big, big toe mound, the pinky toe mound, and the heel, all pushing down equally. Then find that same tripod in the lifted foot and kick through the pinky toe mound, the big toe mound, and the heel of the foot as you lift the leg a little higher. Take a big breath in. Without momentum, we're gonna meet in a forward fold Slowly lower the right leg, lowering it down to hover in front, or sorry, beside the left, and let it all settle. Fold forward. Bend your knees a lot to come into a chair in the bottom of your legs. Bring your feet together if they're not already there. And then rise up into chair pose as you inhale. Lift the left knee up, cross it on top of the right knee. I'll demo here. And hug the pinky toe side of the left foot toward the outside of the right shin. You may wrap it around, the foot around the back of the calf, but today I really want you to focus on that hugging into the midline in your eagle. Left arm wraps underneath right for either grabbing opposite shoulders, backs of the hands together to touch, or front of the hands, the palms touch. Lift the elbows away from you as you sit a little lower into full eagle. Take a big breath in, release everything and stand tall. Arms up, breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. The right foot steps back, breathe in. Hands come to the left thigh as you breathe out. Slide the hands up the thigh, make it that back bend, high lunge with crescent or with cactus arms. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the front leg. Arms come down to either side of the front foot. Spin your back heel down. Lift your right arm to the sky. Triangle. Think about lifting your chest forward as you lean back into a flat wall behind you. 
creating a lot of length in the spine. Big breath in here. Exhale, drop the right hand down, find downward facing dog as you breathe out. It's the right leg that lifts to the sky, big breath in. Knee to nose, shoulder over wrists, breathe out. Lift up and back, three-legged dog. Right knee to the left armpit across the body. Extend the leg off of your mat, spin the back heel down. Put more responsibility in your right hand. Left arm reaches to the sky, fall in triangle. Take a big breath in together. Big breath out. One more here, breathe in. Drop your left hand down, lift the back heel up. Micro bend your elbows. Inhale, right knee to nose, curl in. Exhale to place the right foot down on the mat. Spin the back heel down, right arm reaches forward. This is your half moon. Step forward onto the right tripod of the foot. The left tripod of the foot kicks back. The chest spins forward, but knit your front ribs down so that your low ribs knit towards the tops of your hips. So you take the back bend out of it just for today. We'll meet in a forward fold without momentum. So slowly lower the left leg down let it come right beside the right foot and forward fold. Shift responsibility over into the left foot. Come up into your chair, breathe in. Hover your right foot up, cross the right knee over the left and sit a little lower. Right arm wraps underneath left, eagle arms. Again, grabbing opposite shoulders, backs of the hands touch or palms together. Lift the elbows away from you as you sit down a little lower. Breathe in together. Stand tall, release everything as you breathe out. Let's do that all together on, a, on the half breath. Lift up, inhale, arms up. Forward fold, breathe out. Left foot steps back, breathe in. Exhale, hands to thighs, breathe out. Slide the hands up, make it a back bend with cactus arms, breathe in. Exhale, straighten the front leg, pyramid pose, breathe out. Drop the back heel down. Inhale, left arm to sky, breathe in. Exhale, come back, downward facing up. Left leg lifts high, breathe in. Across the body, knee to the right tricep, extend the leg, drop the back heel down. Inhale, right arm to sky, ball and triangle. Mini chaturanga, exhale, right hand down, micro bend the elbows. Left knee to nose, breathe in. Place the left foot down as you breathe out. Drop the back heel down to the ground again. Walk the left hand forward, half moon, just for a breath in. Exhale, control your forward fold all the way down. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale, hover the left knee over top the right. Wrap left under right arm. Find a hint of a back bend as you breathe in. Stand tall, breathe up. Inhale, arms up. Fold forward, breathe out. Right foot steps back, breathe in. Hands to thigh, breathe out. Hands to come up the thigh into a back bend with cactus arms. Straighten your front leg, both hands come down, pyramid. Back heel down, right arm to the sky, triangle pose. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe out. 
Right arm, to, right leg to sky, three-legged dog. Right knee across the body, kick it off your mat, drop the back heel down. Fall in triangle, left arm to the sky, breathe in. Mini chaturanga, left hand down, micro bend the elbows. Lift up your entire right leg, knee to nose, curl in, lift the back heel up. Right foot steps down in between the hands. Back heel down, walk your right fingers forward. Half moon, just for a breath in. A forward fold with control brings you down. Inhale, chair pose, breathe in. Shift the right knee on top of the left, hug the midline as you breathe out. Wrap right under left and turn it into a back bend, breathe in. Stand tall as you breathe out. Inhale, lift your arms up. Big forward fold and just hang out here for a moment. Widen your feet hip distance apart. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then bend your knees a lot. Come down onto your seat. And bring your feet together, the soles of your feet together, with your knees open nice and wide. Now often the practice is to bring the heels really close together and lift up and take away any curvature of the spine in this pose as you hinge forward. That's an option you can take today. The offering I want to provide for you is to walk the heels slightly further away. And today you're gonna to practice rounding down, tucking the chin towards the chest and the top of the head is going to come into the little opening that is created between the soles of the feet and the big toe mounds. So think about rolling down slowly, identifying in your mind's eye the very top of your head, the crown of your head. And it wants to place right in between your feet where your feet meet. Some of you may need to walk your feet a little closer, and that's okay. Wherever you are, in this rounded variation, stay and take four deep breaths. Letting the heat that you have built in your body resonate and echo throughout the rest of your body. Let it melt away anything that came before today. And let it invigorate you to have a productive, exciting, easeful, loving day. Slowly begin to roll your way up to a nice tall seat. And we'll end today in a seated meditation. So if you'd like to have your legs crossed, you can do so. I like to have my hands face down on my lap for this and softly gaze in front of you where the about three feet in front of your mat if it feels comfortable and if you're willing, feel free to close your eyes. And then let your jaw soften and your shoulders release down. Let go of any intentional breath control. Sometimes it helps to do a big audible sigh out the mouth. <sighs> May the tapas, may the heat that you have generated in your body create a ripple effect of great creations that you will create for the rest of your day today. May it burn away everything that you don't need and light the way to a more happy
happy and prosperous future. Thanks for practicing with me. I'll see you everywhere.